Tricky baby. No matter the currency. Hey Mzansi and welcome to Mzansi Scenes. So more and more South African celebrities are venturing into the alcohol industry and judging from the past few months, they are ready to make some serious moves. Rappers, television personalities, sports stars and even fashion designers have gone from popping bottles to putting their names on them. Mzansi's most famous did not come to play. Here are six local celebrities who have released their own brands of alcohol. At number one, we have Monang Mateba. Monang is the first black woman to join the Cap Classic Producers Association. Monang's House of BNG wasn't just a delightful entry into the world of sparkling alcoholic beverages, it was a historic move for a history maker. She describes House of Monang as a passion that, that has been in the making for years, and judging by how she has shown her love for bubbly, it does not come as a surprise that she now has her own sparkling wine brand. In an interview, she said, The House of BNG has been a passion project of mine for a long time. It's no secret that champagne is my favorite drink, so getting the chance to make my own MCC was an opportunity I couldn't miss out on. She also explained why she didn't go with classic champagne, saying, We have some of the world's best grapes here in South Africa, so I decided to make a wine which is made in exactly the same way as champagne, but using Cape grapes. This is my love letter to Africa, and I'm excited to introduce it to the world. At number two, we have Jay Something. Known for his role as the lead singer of Mikasa, host of My Kitchen Rules, Something's Cooking and What's for Dinner, Jay Something can now add owning a gin brand to that impressive list. If it's anything as tasty as his cooking, then fans are in for a real treat. Gin Gin is a spirit that blends one part of Jay and two parts of his culture and story. The brand aims to offer high quality gin to the market that boasts local South African flavors with Jay Something's Portuguese roots. The gin produced by Craft Link comes in three flavors, olive and honey, orange, robust and honey, and tomato, with all three having its own unique meaning. At number three, you have Kanye Mbao. Another member to join the Jin gang is Kanye Mbawu, who launched her own collection. Throughout Kanye's life in the limelight, there have been many unexpected money-making moves that she's made, but this one is by far the one we couldn't have predicted. The actress, radio DJ, television host and businesswoman has always dreamed of becoming the face of an alcoholic beverage, but due to her brand and how most people perceive her, she was never a favorite in the endorsement and branding spaces, so she then decided to dream big and planned on creating her own brand. When you look at the bottle, you see Mbao's beauty and personality. It is unique, has a touch of gold and gin is pink. It has the best packaging in one could think of, Bomb and popping are the correct words to use. She says it is packaged with love, that is why it looks like a perfume because it's a gift, not a purchase. At number four, we have Tibo Touch. Tibo Touch has always been keen on diversifying his business interests, but even his most loyal fans were impressed by his decision to venture into the world of winemaking. Touch is now the owner of Fortune that took him 13 months to make. He took to his social media platforms to announce that the gin is available in some of the biggest supermarkets and liquor stores across the country. It took 13 months, sleepless nights on the farm, making this Fortune. We have the first ever premium session. The ambitious businessman is undoubtedly an inspiration to many young people who want to be part of the entertainment industry. After his departure from Metro FM, he launched his online radio show and all also it has a line of ones. At number five, we have Tapelo Mugwena. For those who remember, it doesn't seem that long ago when Actan Virtues at Tapelo led a trio of parched friends across the desert to get some refreshments for an alcohol advert. Two years ago, this actor, television presenter and now winemaker collaborated with Bossman Family Vineyards in a new venture that celebrates progress and transformation as well as the launch of a new wine. He said in an interview, I wanted wine to be your translation. I might like my red wine in a tall glass so I can stick my nose in it to get the notes. You might like yours in your favorite coffee mug, that's okay. Ugwena is no stranger to the food and beverage business. He co-owns Ukama Beer Works in Clement. The establishment is at Chisanyama and Tap Room. At number six, we have AKA. 
We thought AK and Cruz were going to be just another celebrity partnership, but boy were we wrong. Cruz gave AK ownership of his very own flavor of their premium vodka, and Cruz Watermelon has gained something of a cult following since it was first released. Award-winning rapper AKA confirmed that his limited edition Cruz Watermelon flavored vodka has been made a permanent flavor and is now being referred to as the luxury edition. AKA is going to be on the typical endorser ambassador role to share in the vodka's profit split per bottle sold throughout Africa, which is a game changer in the South African spirit beverage industry. He spoke about how the idea came to pass. He was in Thailand filming the music video for The World Is Yours and it hit him. Not the watermelon, the idea to do watermelon infused vodka. It's been in the works for almost two years and it was definitely worth the wait. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below and hit the notification bell.